Hey, buddy, Crow back again, and got a package in the mail today, and it's not quite what I was expecting, and I'll explain that in a bit, but this is from Premium Edition Games, and this is their second release, the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. Well, this is their second physical release. They're kind of like, I guess, like uh, limited run games or uh, red art games or a special reserve. I'm um, just trying to think, and there's their, their card. <laughs> this is pretty much the box I got. And the reason I wasn't expecting this one is because I ordered their first release. I ordered their first release back in August, in fact, and I haven't gotten it yet. And when they put out an email saying, hey, our first two releases are are being shipped, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll buy the second release, too. And this is the second release. Um, so I don't know why I haven't gotten the first one yet. And it even says on the back here, number two, premium edition. And, of course, gave me a business card of sorts. But uh, what I'm planning on doing in this video is we'll do an unboxing here, what's in here. And then the second part of the video will be uh, me playing the game, but rather I'm going to play this over a live stream. At least I'm playing to play this over a live stream and I'll edit that live stream down to just kind of bits and bobs and stuff to get. So if you're watching this video, you'll get the point. So I haven't did, done the video yet, obviously the live stream yet, because I still have to unbox this because I want this to be an unboxing too. Uh, the nice thing about premium edition games is that they also do like the Activision patch thing. Uh, whereas you, if you meet a certain criteria or score in a game or title or whatever, you can, uh, I guess, take a picture of you with your screen or whatever and email them and then they'll send you a patch absolutely free. I don't know what the criteria is for this game nor the other one. I'm, I'm kind of saving that one for a surprise. But if you're really curious as to what the first game was that kind of caught my attention and I was like, yeah, that game seems really cool. And um, this one I just kind of bought out of curiosity. This was uh, $39.99, $40. And since I was like, yeah, why not? There's like a collection of four games in here. So, of course, we get this slip cover, but it's kind of an odd slip cover because it's like only goes in one way. Oh, look at this. Interesting. It, they've done it like an old Nintendo uh, sleeve type of deal here. Pre Pigeon Devs Game Collection. So the reason why I like, like these startup like, like they, they seem like they've got something to prove and they're not going to short you on a physical copy of something. So here we've got, uh, even has like, if you wanted to just put this on your shelf, you could do that because it's got on the spine. Um, it looks like we got some coloring here. That's going to look weird on the shelf. <laughs> but again, here's the box for a Pigeon Dev Games Collection. And of course, if you want to skip ahead to the gameplay, I always put um, kind of timestamps or chapters on the video, so that should be easy to do. Looks like we got the four games here. Awesome P, Awesome P2, Bucket Knight, and Explosive Jake. I almost said Joe, but I was like, I almost said Joe, then I almost said Joke, and I was like, oh wait, that's Jake. <laughs> Let's unwrap this part and see what we got in here. Okay. I mean, I don't know anything about these games. They seem kind of interesting. And since, you know, this is the startup or whatever, the first couple of titles, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. If I don't like it, it's a physical copy, right? I could always sell it. I've done that with plenty of limited run titles. <laughs> um, okay, so we open this up. We've got this, this. And look, stuff that you don't normally get in physical game releases by those AAA developers or publishers or whatever. You get an instruction booklet. You get a card. So I think this card has something to do with, ah, here we go. Um, submit this challenge and earn a limited edition collector's patch. So this is what you need to do to get the patch. You need to beat the final level of any game. And to, there's a little bit of instructions there. Don't know how well you could see that, but if you want, you get to pause that and read it. But there's three steps. They even made a video on their YouTube channel on what exactly what you need to do to get the, um, to submit your your thing for the patch or whatnot. So that's pretty interesting. So they put a separate card for that, like you couldn't do it. Oh, and this is a thick, 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 thick color manual. Wow. Well, it does have to have uh, instructions for four games in here. So um, yeah, so what we're gonna do now, this is everything you get in here. And I'm gonna again cut to a live stream that I have not done yet. And if for some reason I don't wind up live streaming it, you will see some game footage, but I will probably live stream this sometime and play the games. So um, yeah, let's cut to that. 
All right, so I just popped on uh, this Pigeon Devs coll game collection, and uh, instead of booting it up and going into a menu, when you put the cartridge in, it shows up as the four games separately here. So Awesome P, Awesome P2, Bucket Knight, and Explosive Jake. So let's just jump into Awesome P, since it's the first one here. Uh, press A to start. Well, it's got kind of that weird television CRT wobbly sensation. That's pretty cool. That's really cool, the way it's all fuzzy like that. It's probably wreaking havoc on the stream, though. Oh, oh that's interesting. The B button pauses. So this is like a one-button game. Oh, what the? Oh, I can double jump. Okay. Oh, there's spikes on the ground there. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. Warp pipe. So it's really... <laughs> uh, really, the game is... Um, I mean, the platforming isn't bad, but this is almost all about the graphical style. No fall damage, that's good. Okay, I could go. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, something about a frog. I have no attacks from what I I can tell. Can I jump? I probably can't jump on the frog. Not even to risk it. Yep, stage clear. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> Comes that skull. I mean, starting over isn't bad, because it's not like... Ooh, okay, I thought that... There's a pipe down here. That just took me right to the beginning again. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Game is rough. Well, I'm getting a little bit better, it seems. Made it! Yeah, we really don't know what the point of collecting the coins is. Maybe that'll become obvious later. Okay, so there was no exit on that one. It was just... Getting that last gem, maybe. I wonder if anybody's uh, sped done speed runs on this game. Seems like the game kind of game people would like to ow oh, speed run. It kind of sucks to make it so far into a level and then like hit something and have to do the whole thing all over again. No, into the side. Yeah, Super Meat Boy is exactly what I was thinking of. The way it makes you start the whole level all over again with because of one mistake. This is where I jumped right into the spikes last time. Oh man, I thought I was dead. I was just stuck. Not gonna dare go for that gem. Oh, I made it to the end! <laughs> oh, oh no! I don't know how I survived that. Is that the end? Yep, it was! Yeah, it's really interesting to see what they're throwing in here. Waiting for these to rotate around, or at least one of them to rotate around. Gem, and the end of the level! There we go. 
Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> That's a good point to call it uh, the end here. I'm gonna not the end of the stream, the end of this game. I'm gonna move on to Awesome P2 just to check that out really briefly. But yeah, this reminds me totally like Super Meat Boy if it was on Game Boy, and Game Boy had a lot better resolution. So let's uh, jump into Awesome P2 really quick. Photosensitive seizure warnings. Oh boy, I hope there's really good flashing lights in this. <laughs> okay, start. Level zero, okay. Oh, this has got a... Uh, I like the jumping here. He, he rotates vertically, and then the second jump, he goes horizontally. It's a really cool effect. Oh, there's a little ledge there. I can't... Spikes? Yeah, this definitely has a... It's the same game... But it definitely does feel like an upgrade. Good music, still. Level zero beat. <laughs> oh, can I wall jump? Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought I could cling to those walls and it turns out it was background element. Should I jump? There we go. I I think that's the end of the level. Into the cauldron. <laughs> Games like this where there's no long death animation or... You have to don't wait a long time before starting again. It's you may die, but it's, it's at least it's not frustrating in the fact that you don't have to wait to start again. Huh. I like this song. So why is level two way easier than level one? But yeah, music is really good. Oh, this one's a little bit different. When you fall, you can do a, a second jump. The, the first game wouldn't let you do that. Alright, made it through there. This part really isn't too difficult, I think. Okay. Level complete! <laughs> Should I go for that gem? I think I... and now that's... <laughs> it's just gonna kill me. Whoa! I didn't realize I was going to fall through both of them. Hmm. Whoa. Alright, as long as we beat the level. We're good here for right now. I wonder if it just saves my progress automatically. Well, but I just wanted to get a, a good eye sense of the game. But yeah, pretty much exactly like... Uh, Awesome P1, just upgrade it. So let's try Bucket Knight. I see a chair, TV, a sign, a guy with guns, and a TV? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. That's if I want to restart. Okay. I don't know if I like the button placements of this game. But it's something I could kind of get used to, I guess. So he's got a double jump. So this is awesome P with a gun, basically. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like a Mega Man-esque game. Maybe there might be a little bit of an RPG element to this. I kind of wish that the, the... Oops. Well, I took damage. It didn't kill me instantly. 
Yeah, the button placement isn't exactly where I would like it to be. Yeah, I'm taking damage. I don't know how... Oh, I see. I have hearts up there. Okay. Well, this guy's got a spread shot. And I got died. Okay. So there's a bit of exploration going on. And yeah, nice music indeed. Oh man, uh, oh, I guess I need a key. Oh, there's the key. Okay. Okay. I just don't like the button placement for uh, jumping and shooting. Okay, got. Oh, that's all I need to do to clear the level. Yeah, this is a really good game. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I could try and shoot these guys, I guess. Nope! <laughs> they ain't have enough of that. What the hell is going on here? Whew. I bet you it repeats up and down. Oh, nope. I bet you I'm wrong. It's kind of like a mix between Super Meat Boy and um, Mega Man. <laughs> but funnily enough, I'm getting flashbacks of Super Robin Hood for some reason. Man alive! That's probably the easier way to do it. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? <laughs> Death, apparently. Looks like I'm going to be rushed to the top here on this level. Don't know if I have time to actually shoot all these buckets and stuff. I definitely don't now. <laughs> There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> Doom. Oh, this music is so good. Okay. At least he only shot me twice. <laughs> oh boy. This is... Oh, man, the music! I'd love to have the soundtrack to this now. Oh. Okay, if there's any game I think I can beat, I think it's this one. Cherry is good. Man, this is getting kind of deep here. Is the key? I wish the coins did something, and they might. I don't know. Oh, damn! I forgot about these guys. Oh man, this is no good. Okay, it's one down. got him now if I could find the exit without dying that would be nice was the door over no the door was over here yep there it is made it through <laughs> that's a pretty large level some of these sound like um like the UK computers, like games from UK computers, like like a Spectrum game. Maybe not a Spectrum game. I don't know much about that, but like um, 
Somebody, like, it sounds like some of the Dizzy games, the soundtrack. If that makes any sense. But there's so much depth. I mean, it is... It has that feel like an old computer game, but it's got so much depth to it. Like, more depth than what you'd see in, like, a... Why is this level so easy? Okay, we're gonna call it quits for, um, Bucket Night for the time being. But yeah, excellent game. I think I like this one more than Awesome P. It's like Awesome P with a gun, pretty much, but I liked it. So let's move on to our last game here, Explosive Jake. Start the game, Explosive Jake. Guess we're on level zero. <laughs> they love starting at you on level zero. So. Okay, again. Oh, what the? So this is like Bomberman, I think. Okay, there we go. And that's what kind of interests me in this collection as a whole, because it did look kind of like Bomberman. Can I put down more than one? No, I cannot. That might be a power-up. But again, really good music. And that was the door. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him. Got him! All right, it actually worked. So what's the button do? Oh, it's... It actually opened up a gate, I think. Well, I haven't seen, like, a power-up yet behind one of these things, but... Oh, I... No, pfft. As soon as I say that, there's a shield. I don't know what the shield does, but I want it. I wish I could lay two bombs down. I think that's the exit. Why not? We'll take the exit. Level one beat. Well, so far, everything's taken out in one hit. And everything has a set pattern. Like, even if the door is open, or the, the blocks are busted, they still turn around at the same... What is this, now? I really don't know what that is. Oh, man, I accidentally reset! So the X button resets, just automatically. Thanks. Well, that got him. I'm kind of surprised that you don't really have a time limit on these on this game. So I think I can exit now if I wanted to, but... I'm more interested in seeing if I can find an, another item. Okay, now we're getting a little bit more interesting because we're getting, like, these fire flames. And if you're just a little bit too close to the wall, you can't put a bomb down, apparently. <laughs> I killed that ghost. <laughs> Lucky for me. Look at the key and the door are right here. Well, hell, let's just do it. <laughs> Don't feel like exploring the whole level. There's a bit more obstacles in the way here than there would be in a uh, Bomberman game. Make things a little bit more interesting. I don't know if there's anything to do with these the, the gas. Well, at least we got another hit coming to us. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> at least you don't... You know what? I don't think you get blocked in by your own bombs. Don't know what that was. Oh, I can lay more than one bomb! Thank you! <laughs> now I can kill myself faster. Crap, 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 crap! <laughs> well, I think I still have the second bomb. Yep. Can I do chain reactions now? You know, I don't think the explosions trigger the other bomb. Yeah, the explosions definitely don't trigger the other bomb. Ooh, what's this? I have no idea. Oh, you know what? That might have extended the range of my flames. I think I got him. So now I'm really dangerous. Let's see if I can get that block from there now. Yep, that's exactly what that was. 
It's just awkward that sometimes he just does not want to put the bomb down. If you're not in the right spot. Like, nothing happens. Okay, let's just find the exit. Well, you know what? I think we're going to call it here. Uh, I've been streaming this for an hour and a half. Got through four games. Explosive Jack. Not bad, but definitely not one of my not one definitely probably my least favorite in the collection so here we go in the collection we had awesome p awesome p2 bucket knight and explosive jake um and if i had to rank these in the order i like them definitely bucket knight my top one uh awesome p and awesome p2 get tied for a second because they're practically the same game um and I definitely try to play through Awesome P before Awesome P2. And Explosive Jake rounds out it at uh, at the fourth. Because um, it's a little too slow. It's like, I'd rather play Bomberman, I think. Bomberman is a little bit more, you know, um, quicker, fast, a little bit faster paced, even though it is slower paced. But you do seem to get your power-ups uh, quicker in uh, Bomberman than you do in Explosive Jake. Um also, not only that, but when you go level to level in Explosive Jake, some of your power-ups don't even carry over. Uh, so it was a game that I thought I was going to like the most, and it turns out I had the least on this collection. But, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, if you made it this far, you know, why not give the video a thumbs up? Because um, why not? <laughs> um, and see you next time.